It's October, so it must mean William Matar Law Offices is pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The firm is also once again joining the American Cancer Society's fundraiser for making strides and so much more. Well, joining us this morning from the law offices is Megan Lederhaus and Adam Szymanski. Good morning. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning. Nice to see you. No surprise to see that the law offices are going pink for this month. You've been doing that for so many years now, and it's so great to have that support. Yeah, everything goes pink. It's really fun. Obviously, we went pink as well with our outfits today. <laughs> um, but everything, you know, a lot of people probably see our commercials all the time. Those go pink. Um, the sign out front of our building, so we're famous for the big blue William Matar sign, um, that goes pink for the month of October. So if you're driving down Main Street in Williamsville, you'll see that. Um, tumblers, pens, mouse pads, anything we can get our hands on to turn pink, we try to. And uh, Adam, I gotta ask you, is it true that real men wear pink? It is true. <laughs> um, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of great fundraising down at the firm. Um, you know, we're actually uh, currently in first place as well, so uh, there's a lot of great people down there that are really stepping up and doing their part along with, you know, family and friends as well. So it's a great network of people I have uh, here helping me out with this. Adam, talk to me about what you're involved in and why you decided to do this. Um, so, you know, breast cancer really does impact everybody. You know, we all do know somebody. Um, for me personally, it is my mother. Um, pretty much throughout my entire time in high school, she did battle this disease. Um, but she also courageously beat the, beat the disease as well, which is the most important thing. And um, you know, so I'm really running and wearing pink proudly just to, you know, ensure we get more success stories like that at my mother's end. Yeah, that's amazing to hear. And I see some of the other gentlemen in your office are participating as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like I said, you know, it's a great network of people and everybody's kind of stepping up to uh, contribute or just spread awareness any way they can. That's amazing. And the walk is this Saturday? This Saturday. Okay. So we're hoping for good weather. Um, Team Matar is ready and there's so many people down there. It's such a great event. It's, you really have to experience it for yourself. Um, because there's just so many people rallying in support of breast cancer awareness, you know, to raise funds for the research and the awareness for it. And Megan, remind us again what this walk is. It's the Making Strides Walk, it's correct? It's the Making Strides Walk, mm -hmm. right. So we do a lot of fundraising with the American Cancer Society. Um, I believe it's a 5K oh, walk. Okay. Perfect. Um, so Perfect not length. a run. Mm -hmm. You can walk. So Press anybody walk. can do it. <laughs> yeah, so some years, you know, everybody's out there with right. their uh, gloves and scarves and hats, and some years we're out there in t-shirts. You just never know, because it's Buffalo. <laughs> you never know. And there's and... a party after, oh. and there's all kinds of events that they do. Okay. It's at the Outer Harbor. Oh, perfect. Yes. Perfect. October is also Fire Safety Awareness Month. It is. It's Fire Safety Month. Yes, and we want to make sure that we're raising awareness for that as well. We have partnered with Ed Young's True Value Hardware for, it's been about 20 years now, actually. They're right in the village of Williamsville. Um, we are giving away free smoke detector certificates. We wanna make sure that everybody knows that. You go to williamatar.com. In our community section, there's a fire safety page. All you have to do is put in a little bit of your information, um, including your email address. What we're gonna do is we're gonna email you a certificate. Mm -hmm. All of the instructions will be there. You just print it out, you take it to Ed Young's. They're gonna give you a free smoke detector. Oh, how nice. So there's a lot that's changed with the laws that we wanna make people aware of too. So now the smoke detectors that they sell are 10 year um, detectors with non-removable batteries. Hmm. The reason for this, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but sometimes we're cooking, we're trying a new recipe, the smoke detector goes off, and to stop it, you take the batteries out, right? <laughs> it happens a lot when I'm cooking. <laughs> yes, same. So okay. it happens to a lot of people, but the problem is they don't remember to put the batteries back right. in. Mm -hmm. So that's why the new law has changed these to where you cannot take the batteries out. Now, if you have an old detector, that you can still use those, but you want to make sure that you change the batteries in that. Um, a good tip is when the time, you know, when you put your clocks back or forward, mm -hmm. to change your batteries and your smoke detectors too. And use these, that test button. Make yeah, sure these it's are working. always great tips for us to know, and some things that we forget about. But of course, we want to thank you so much, Megan and Adam, for giving back to the community through the law offices. And Adam, good luck to you. We're thank supporting you, you out thank there. You very We're much. so Appreciate happy to hear it. that your mom is doing well. Awesome. Thank okay, you. Okay, everybody. When we come back. We are talking about dieting, and we're going to start trimming down before the holidays, so more details of that after the break.